Guys, this is Nick at the Lost River Drive-In, and I am here today to give you a horror haul video. Uh, the past week or so, you know, tax season, I went around, I bought some stuff. I want to show you guys what stuff I got. We're going to start off with DVDs, and then we're going to get into Blu-rays. I did buy a few DVDs. I only buy DVDs if they're, like, interesting additions, and it's really just for collecting purposes and nothing else. So that's what these DVDs are. These aren't, oh my god, like, this is, you know... I had to have it on DVD because I don't own it. No, more or less just like, wow, that's cool. I want to get it. And the first one is the Nightmare on Elm Street uh, Parts 5 through Freddy vs. Jason uh, New Line Cinema DVD release. And um, the coolest part about this, I'll show you guys, is that they have their own discs. The bad part is that they're all stacked. So that's kind of annoying. But I thought this was really cool. I mean, it was like five bucks, so how am I not going to get it? I mean, I own these movies individually in different format, but you know what? I saw it, and I'm kind of a sucker for it. Um, you know, I don't know. I got it, so whatever. Do I have a problem? Maybe. Now, the next one I bought is the Collector's Edition DVD of a movie that I loved when I was a kid. And I probably haven't seen this in like 15 years. So I'm actually really excited to revisit this. And I used to be called this by my family. Not even kidding. And that is Pumpkinhead. Uh, yeah. When I was a kid, uh, my head was bigger, was was disproportionate to my body size. So I was called Pumpkinhead by uh, my family. And it was because of this movie. Um, I remember being creeped out by this movie when I was a kid. But I have not seen this in so long. This was also like was it, like three dollars and i was they didn't have the blu-ray so it's like screw it i actually don't even know if it has a blu-ray release i'm sure it does but regardless i saw it for like three bucks and i was like i'm gonna buy it and i'm gonna rewatch this because i haven't watched since this since i was a kid so pumpkin head and this one i just i had to have and this was just because of the aesthetic i have multiple editions of this movie so this doesn't really add anything aside from just the way it looks but i loved it and it's the Texas Chainsaw Massacre uh, two-disc Ultimate Edition DVD. Uh, and I mean, it's a 10 case. So I was like, yep, got to get it. Very shiny. Open that bad boy up. I just, I don't know. I don't know what it was. I, I saw it and I said, you know what? I have to have this. And uh, it looks really, really nice on the shelf. It's, it's basically like a DVD steelbook. I guess it is technically a steelbook. I don't know. Whatever. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Also, this shirt I'm wearing is a part of the haul. Uh, I also got I got a few different shirts. They're not all in here. There's two Michael like painting shirts. I got both of them. Uh, the other one's a Monet. I have that one as well. I bought it yesterday. And then if you follow me on Instagram, you saw the uh, Saw shirt I got that said, learn how to play games, uh, you know, puzzles and activities, which uh, that was funny. Whatever, so I got it. Uh, now we're going to get into Blu-rays. And first, we're going to do Leonardo DiCaprio's Shutter Island. I love this movie. I couldn't believe that I didn't own this movie. Because although I would say this is more of like a mystery thriller, not so much horror, I really think it's a pretty enthralling movie. I, I've always really enjoyed this movie. My wife loves this movie too. This movie kind of makes you think. Um, really, really, really love this movie. Um, so yeah, I was glad to pick this up for like, Five bucks, I think. So, Shutter Island. Next one is a movie that I used to own and then let somebody borrow it. Never got it back. So, I had to rebuy it and I actually rewatched it last night because I hadn't watched it since it first came out. And that is Rob Zombie's The Lords of Salem. Now, my thoughts on this movie have not changed. Um, I feel like I don't know if I've done a review on my channel of The Lords of Salem, but basically, my thoughts always were that. This movie is gorgeous. This movie has some thought-provoking material. And Rob Zombie can't stick the landing. Everything else about this movie, I think, is like damn near perfection. And then the ending is just so out of whack and weird and choppy. And it just it doesn't really make much sense. Um, so it's a solid movie. Um, it is solid. I, I don't think it's great and it's not bad. Um, but man, if he could have nailed the landing, you know, at the end, we would have been talking about easily the greatest zombie film. Maybe. I don't know. Halloween 2 still might be 
you know, even with that, I still might prefer Halloween too. But you get my point. The next one is, this is just a nice little double feature. I do own these movies individually, but uh, that's the Jeepers Creepers 1 and 2 Blu-ray. Um, and I always like when they have separate discs. Uh, if you're going to give me uh, a pack with two movies or three movies or four movies, have separate discs. Please, for the love of God, have separate discs. And these do. So, um, pretty cool there. Not much in the way of special features, I don't think, but... This, again, was like five bucks, and I had to have it. The next item is going to be William Peter Blatty's The Exorcist 3. Uh, this is the Scream Factory Collector's Edition release. And uh, I had not seen this movie since childhood. And that was because the first one, obviously, is a classic. I watched that one probably once a year. Uh, the second one, I think, is pretty freaking bad. So I feel like I just blocked all the Exorcist sequels out of my mind. Uh, after childhood, but I had heard a lot of people say, no, you got to revisit this one, and you, obviously you have to get the Scream Factory um, collector's edition of it, so I did, and I revisited it, and boy, this movie is a blast. This movie is great. Um, I still don't find it better than the original. I, I know there are people that say this is the best Exorcist film. I, I don't agree with that, because uh, I feel like the Exorcist is scarier. But I will say, this movie really makes you think this movie is... I mean, wow, Brad Dourif is absolutely phenomenal in this movie. So, very, very glad that I picked this up. Um, and uh, really glad that I rewatched it, because this is quite quite a movie. I think the only Exorcist film after the original that deserves to exist. And I mean that. I mean, there's some pretty bad ones. So, the next one is uh, from my buddy, Rudy... Um, he, there's two items on here that he sent to me. This is the first one. Um, and, uh, again, I did not own this movie. I had seen this movie and I enjoyed this movie. I didn't love it, but I enjoyed it. Um, and, um, that is summer of 84. Uh, and I remember this being a movie that like a lot of people really gravitated toward when it came out. People said, you know, very eighties vibes, nostalgia, uh, cool twist at the end, you know, yada, yada. And, and I, I agree for the most part, I feel like the first parts of the movie, the first half or whatever, really try too hard to lean into that eighties to the point where it's almost like, I don't know, it, it's, it's almost like annoying to a degree because it's like they're overdoing it. But overall, I think it's a, re I think it's a really solid movie. I really do enjoy this movie. And, uh, you know, the most important thing is I can't believe that, um, you know, one of my one of my buddies on here felt the you know, they wanted to send this to me. That really means a lot. So, Rudy, thank you so much uh, for this summer of 84 Blu-ray, my friend. I really appreciate it. This is going to be a movie that I've loved since it came out and I just never owned it. And I don't know if that's because it's like a seasonal thing and I'm like, it's only on my mind like one time a year. I love this director and I love this movie. But regardless, I finally picked it up yesterday. And that is Krampus. Uh, Krampus. I actually, you know, I've, I've always loved this movie. I think this movie is so fun. I think uh, Michael Daugherty, the director, is just absolutely brilliant when it comes to creature features. And, and especially holidays. I mean, with Trick or Treat as well. I love Godzilla, King of the Monsters. He just really can play well with creatures. Um, and this is no exception. I think this is the only Krampus film probably in existence that is worth purchasing. I think most people would agree with that. Um, you know, there's some Dollar General ones and stuff. Um, Piz Owl did a review on Krampus the Reckoning. Don't watch it, basically. That's the moral of the story. Um, but yeah, Krampus. Uh, love this movie. Great seasonal flick. Um, great creature feature. Funny, too. So, Yeah. And then the next one I got, I again, I you know I own all three of these movies, guys. This is simply just uh, I saw the set and I had to get it. And that is the uh, Firefly Trilogy, the Rob Zombie Firefly Trilogy on Blu-ray. This has got House of a Thousand Corpses, uh, The Devil's Rejects, and Three from Hell. <clears throat> and they all have their own disc, which is absolutely freaking incredible. Again, that's how you do a set right. They all have special features on here. And um, Devils and Three from Hell are the unrated editions, which I've seen both of those editions. Um, and, you know, that's Rob's thing. He loves to do his unrated editions. So, Rob Zombie's Firefly Trilogy on Blu-ray. And the next thing, before we get into the coup de gras, the next thing leading up to that is the Halloween Kills official... 
motion picture soundtrack from Sacred Bones Records. I absolutely freaking love this thing, and um, it's got a, uh, it's got two records in it, uh, two vinyls in it, and uh, this thing is just amazing. It sounds great. I mean, you guys know that I absolutely love this soundtrack. Um, you know, most Halloween soundtracks I love, but especially this one. I think that the past two movie soundtracks have been incredibly strong. So listening to this thing um, the other day, you know, in, in the purest form too, I think vinyl is the best way to listen to music still. I still maintain that. Um, it was just it was just a blast to listen to this thing, you know, front to back. Um, really, really enjoyed it. So the Halloween Kills original motion picture soundtrack. And then the last thing, this again, uh, this is a gift from Rudy. He sent two things. This is the second one, the one that I was not aware was coming. And this was to celebrate the one year anniversary of me relaunching my channel, which guys today, as I am recording this and as you are watching this is the one year anniversary of the relaunch. I relaunched last year on February 28th today, February 28th. It's kind of crazy how this all worked out. <clears throat> so again, Rudy, thank you so much. I was not expecting this. Cannot wait to show you guys this. If you follow me on social media, you've already seen it. The Halloween Kill Steelbook. The, oh, this bad boy was, I couldn't find it anywhere. I had an issue with Best Buy of them dicking me around and uh, basically over-promising and under-delivering the steelbooks of, yeah, we'll have it, pre-order it. Just kidding. We didn't have enough. Here's your refund. Oh, and it's not anywhere uh, that, you know, anywhere near you, at any location near you. Wow. Thank you so much, Best Buy. Well, fear not, because my great friend Rudy snagged this up for me, didn't tell me he was sending it to me, and sent it to me. Rudy, you are the freaking best. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for this. This is incredible. I absolutely love this steelbook. I like this better than the 2018 steelbook. I remember I wasn't big on that. I did not I did end up getting that steelbook, but I was never huge on that art. I always liked this art better, and I was like, I'm never going to be able to get it. I'm never going to be able to get it. I got it, and that is thanks to you, Rudy. You rock Halloween Kills steelbook. Yes, yes, yes. And that's going to do it. For the horror haul, uh, again, quite a bit. Normally when I do a horror haul, I only do, you know, I have a couple things, a handful of things. I've got damn near, let's see, let's find out. Let's do this live right here. Five. So we got 11 movies, three t-shirts, a soundtrack. I think, you know, I think that's a pretty good haul, you know, for, for somebody that has kids and um, a wife and uh, can't spend as much money as he'd probably like to because it's not, you know, Probably not the smartest decision, but regardless, that is the horror haul. I think I got some great stuff in here. I want to know what you guys think. What do you think of what I picked up? Do you own these? Do you like these? Let me know. Do you want to own them? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to leave a like on here. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet. And, 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 I want to Send a shout out to my patrons. Thank you guys so much for supporting me on Patreon. It means the world. It is the number one way to keep the lights on, so to speak, for this channel. You go out and buy these things. You go out and do these things to give these things to you guys. So when you give me <clears throat> your support on Patreon, it really, really helps keep this channel going and creating more physical media content, especially. So if you haven't checked me out on Patreon yet, go ahead and check me out on Patreon at the Lost River Drive-In. And that's going to do it for today. I will see you guys later in a stream with Justin. This is Nick at the Lost River Drive-In, and I am pulling out.